Doing a little reading for myself with my new deck and I'm doing the change a core belief spread so for first position I got what core belief am I attached to and it's despair definitely <laughs> what caused it to take root in myself and I got resilience what is it shielding me from? Desire. How to uproot this core belief. Discouragement. What new belief can I plant in its place? Powerlessness. <laughs> this just seems so rude. But so accurate at the beginning. I'm not too sure about these two at the bottom. Because they seem a little like hopeless. So I'm, I'm curious to read into it. B, what is your problem, man? Alright, anyways, I figured I'd record this, that way maybe I can, like, capture my thoughts on this, because I don't have a journal. Alright, so, for despair, I got to find the thing. Despair. Despair is lying still at the bottom of an ocean, heavy as an anchor with a head full of dreams. In those dreams, I reach for the surface and a wave takes me to shore. But the dreams never come true. I never see the surface. I never reach the shore. I am lying still in a great darkness and no one is coming. So that definitely feels about right. I mean, most of the time I just feel like life is just miserable and I'm never gonna get anywhere I mean wherever I'm supposed to be getting I have no clue but like I always feel like I'm on the verge of like I'm not even on the verge of like success or whatever but I'm like I feel like I should be like accomplishing some random thing that I don't even have the concept for like it just feels like I'm meant for more than this you know and I'm just not getting there <laughs> So, like, there's a sense of despair that, that overtakes me. And it's, it's rough to feel like you're not where you're supposed to be, even though I know, like, that's just, like, this concept that we've created that we have to, like, chase the carrot around in circles. But, yeah, I do feel like the dream, like, my dreams never come true. And, like, there's no one, I mean, there's no one that can <laughs> save me. So, yeah, that, that would capture my core belief pretty well pretty well I'd say and then when it comes to resilience I feel like what caused the despair to take root is like the need to tell myself something like to cope with like I guess how my life ended up being like I mean I don't want to keep like I don't know be Debbie Downer or whatever but like my childhood was kind of crappy so like my outlook kind of ended up being influenced by that in like not the best of ways so resilience I think I just had to tell myself that things sucked and like like just kind of like this acceptance of like this apathy I don't even know like what I'm talking about but I think we tell ourselves stories like whatever gets us through and like I guess giving up is kind of like, I don't know, it's like helpful because you just like, you check out, I guess, you're like, I don't care anymore, like when things feel so like horrible, you're just like, well, if I just stop caring and accept that everything sucks, then like, I don't have to worry anymore, like there's nothing left to, to fight for, I don't know, like it's, there's like a sad comfort in that somehow. If that makes any sense. But I'm going to find resilience and see. This is kind of hard to do with like one hand. And my battery is about to die on this thing. So I don't know how long this is going to work. But I'm going to try. And I got a battery in my bag. Maybe I can back up. Do a backup battery or something. Where is this? Resilience. Alright. Says. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Resilience is knowing that life is made of lessons and each one must be cherished. The more I learn, the closer I get to putting my perfectly imperfect self back in my body. Perfectly imperfect body. A body that is brave and knows that trying and failing is more valuable than failing to try at all. 
<clears throat> I don't know how I feel about it. I think I do believe that like life is made of lessons. It's like I, I'm torn between like feeling like life is meaningless, but then also like so meaningful. Like I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> I mean, I know, I do believe, like, we put the meaning onto things. Like, that's where it comes from. It's not, like, inherently there. Like, we color the world through our, like, perception or whatever. And which is, it's never just us either. Like, it just depends on, like, who, whose lens we've been exposed to. Like, there is no single point of... Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to explain things that are, like, beyond explanation. It's like, you never know what's coming from you or, like, someone else. Which is, like, the comp the combination of, like, all the people they were in contact with. Like, it's just, what is truly you? I feel like that went way off from the card. Resilience is knowing that life is made of lessons and each one must be cherished. The more I learn, the closer I get to putting my perfectly imperfect self back in my body, perfectly imperfect body, a body that is brave and knows the trying is failing is more valuable than failing to try at all. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm confused about that one a little bit. I'm, I'm going to move on. <laughs> but yeah, I stick with what I said earlier. I think acceptance, like, of the despair or whatever was, like, my way of being resilient and just, like, powering through it the best way I knew how like cause I don't think being in despair is necessarily like not useful I mean it sucks but like you do learn a lot like that resilience card like it teaches you a lot of life lessons so yeah that that's what caused it to take root necessity man I was just so distraught that like I just I just accepted it and <laughs> just <laughs> built my identity around that because I had to do something like if that's all you know that's what you're gonna hold on to you know so what is this whole despair thing shielding me from my desire <laughs> I do I feel that too because I feel like I'm always like reaching for like what I what I hope my life will be like instead of like actually making it happen because there's just all this stuff in a way like I just feel like I have to do certain things that are against what I really want to do like like working for example I mean I really I like to work like I value hard work it's not that I have complaints about like contributing it's just the ways that I contribute and the amount of time that I contribute doesn't feel balanced with like my personal life like, if things were more, like, half and half, like, part-time job probably would be the best bet for me because then I would have more time for, like, my passions and stuff. But as of now, like, I have a full-time job. I work, like, at least, like, 10 hours of overtime every week. And so it's just kind of, like, overwhelming sometimes and tiresome to try to fit, like, your passions in with, like, your work when you need to make money. But you also, like have goals and like creative but like my creative drive is there it's just like I can never dedicate enough time to it so it feels like it's not there and it's hard to not like just give up and be like well I'm just exhausted I don't have time for this and so yeah I, I think the despair does get in the way of my desire because I'm just like well my life will always be like this I'll never have time for my dreams like I should just accept that this is just my life. This this is my lot. <laughs> well, let's see what it says about desire. Dispel. Oh dang, where is it? Okay, here we go. Desire. Desire is the raw material, the itch in my heart. It is the spark that fuels the will. It's the pure dream born of my gut begging to be seen. It is the fruit of my soul, forever expanding. But a wounded soul produces oddities. I am the judge of my own desire, the soul creator, and the executor of my destiny. Yeah, I would agree with that. 
So this is the part I'm kind of curious about. These two cards over here, like what, what is the deal with those? So the next two positions, how to uproot this core belief. And I got discouragement. So I don't know, let's see what the book says. Cause that seems kind of like <laughs> give up on yourself <laughs> vibes. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just so far in the despair that I can't see like <laughs> the, um, the light in this card. All right, what am I looking for? Discouragement. Okay. Discouragement is when my hands are worn out from trying and failing, when I don't see the full picture, when I'm obsessed with the last fall. If I rest for a moment, will I miss my chance to make it all the way? Is it okay to pause and catch my breath? Make sure I still want all the things that I wished for when I was suffering. I feel like I need to like stew on that for a minute to like really let it sink in. I feel the pressure of the camera. That's why I'm like um, rushing myself, which I don't need to do because this is just for me. I mean, it's fine. Yeah, so the thing was, how can I do it now? uproot this core belief discouragement I guess just it sounds like I need to just take a breather and like chill and understand that like even if this is like this despair is how I've defined my life up until this point like it doesn't have to be the ending, like, I can think that all I want, but that's not, like, the only option. And if I just, like, accept defeat, like, <laughs> like, I'm thinking accept defeat is in, like, accept that even though this is the way I've defined my life up to this point, it's not necessarily the truth. I think that makes sense. I'm gonna go with it. So yeah, uproot the cord belief, discouragement. Yeah, I'm still feeling like the acceptance, like <laughs> accept the failure or the perceived failures that I have of my life, and just surrender. Like it is what it is. It's too late, man. I've been shaped. <laughs> I did the best I could up to this point, and it's okay to feel like doo-doo about it, like, it hurts. But that's not, like, the whole picture. Like, I'm, I'm focusing in on only this, the half of the equation. <clears throat> so what was the last spread position? What new belief can I plant in its place? <laughs> Powerlessness. <laughs> this is so funny because it's like, that sounds so negative. Powerlessness, where is that? <laughs> I'm sure it's not as like hopeless as it sounds. Because my brain be like trying to, to clutch to that despair, man. Alright, I'm finding it, I'm finding it. Powerlessness. Here we go. All right. Powerlessness is power without presence. It's a deflated, deflated balloon. It's not knowing I have a say in my circumstances. There is power in knowing I am the sole owner of my life. There is power in fear too. At any moment, I could choose to be free. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like, this sounds like I'm just powerless, but. It's in the powerlessness that you realize there's power. Like, you, you, <laughs> like, I am the one that has to, like, change, the, like, my perception of things. Nobody else can do that for me. Yeah. So I know that all this was just how I had to define my life. Like, for some reason, like, it was useful for some reason like it might seem like I've ruined my whole life thinking this way 
but it got me to this point so it wasn't a waste and I can always like choose a different story to tell about myself because I mean I'm obviously here like doing the work I'm willing to look at this and see how I hold myself back so I'm not really powerless I mean I was powerless in the past like I, I couldn't choose like my family or how like my upbringing was but now that I'm older I'm out of the house working my little job <laughs> taking care of myself I got more options Yeah, I can tell I'm really going to like this deck. It's like pretty spot on. <laughs>